Planet Venus is the most dangerous planet in our solar system. Its surface is hot enough to melt lead. It's even hotter than the planet Mercury, which is the closest to the Sun. Venus's atmosphere is acidic, nearly as thick as water, and strong enough to dissolve most metals used to make spacecrafts. Living on Venus would be very much like hell on Earth. But if Venus is the most deadly planet in our local solar system, what are the deadliest exoplanets in the universe we've discovered so far? This planet was discovered in 2002 in the Sagittarius constellation, about 5,000 light years away from Earth. This fiery world was found to have moved too close to its own star to be hospitable to living things. It takes 1.2 days to complete one orbit of its star, and it has a surface temperature that reaches 1,650 degrees Celsius, or 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It is 1.3 times as big as Jupiter, which is the largest planet in our solar system. Lying so close to its star, the planet's atmosphere should be hot enough to form shower rains of hot iron liquid falling to the ground. In the Draco constellation, about 750 light years away from Earth, astronomers identified a planet that is believed to be the darkest exoplanet out there. The discovery was made in 2006. It is almost the same size as Jupiter and has a star that looks almost like our Sun. But the planet is so dark that it is believed to be even less reflective than black acrylic paint. It lacks reflective clouds due to its high temperature of more than 982 degrees Celsius. It has an atmosphere that contains light-absorbing chemicals such as vaporized sodium and potassium or gaseous titanium oxide. Yet none of these chemicals fully explain the extreme blackness of the world. However, it's not completely pitch black. It's so hot that it emits a faint red glow, much like burning coal. In the Cygnus constellation, about 670 light years away from Earth, astronomers identified one of the hottest planets known. It was discovered in 2017 and is two times the size of Jupiter. It has a star that is twice as hot and three times as big as our Sun. The planet is so close to its own Sun that it takes just one and a half days to complete an orbit. Its daytime temperature can be unbelievably hot, reaching around 4,315 degrees Celsius or 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit. It is so hot that its own hydrogen atmosphere boils and escapes into its nearby star. Astronomers believe that at this rate, the planet will lose its entire atmosphere in just 200 Earth years. A little over four light years away lies our closest known extrasolar neighbor. Discovered in 2016, Proxima b is an Earth-sized planet right outside our solar system. Astronomers initially believed it could potentially be fit to host life after seeing the exoplanet orbits in the habitable zone of its star. Its star is Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf which was recently observed to release violent solar flares. Scientists believe that they have spotted the largest flare ever recorded from Proxima Centauri. The flares were so intense that the star became 14,000 times brighter within 10 seconds and Proxima b was blasted with tremendous, deadly radiations. So much for being a potential second Earth. On the opposite side of these extremely hot planets, there is a cold, rocky exoplanet with a very thin atmosphere located at the center of our own Milky Way. This icy world was believed to support life. However, we now believe that couldn't be further from the truth. Its freezing cold temperatures are as low as negative 220 degrees Celsius or negative 364 degrees Fahrenheit. That's lower than the lowest temperature ever recorded here on Earth, which for the record is negative 97.8 degrees Celsius. That's too cold for liquid water to exist. This planet, which is only about five times as massive as the Earth, orbits its host star in about 10 years. The universe is filled with hostile planets that might not support life. However, some of these planets could someday help us redefine life. While they may seem hostile to us, these planets could be flourishing with life that we have yet to understand. <laughs>